Hi everyone, today I'm going to just show you how to create a drag and drop exercise with Google, Google Slides. So here's our practice task. Download the worksheet image at HTTPS just there. So I'll click on that link, click to download. So this is a, an image or a photo. So I'm just going to go up to download. And save into my downloads folder. So next I'm going to click on that second link to make a copy of the draggable answers that I'll paste into my completed activity. So I'll click on the link, make a copy, and that will save a copy into your Google Drive. So leave this tab open so you'll want to copy and paste that later. Okay, so in a new tab, part, this is part two, in a new tab, create a new Google slide and change the size of the slide to 21 centimetres by 20 9.7 centimeters. All right, so I'm going to go back to my Google Drive, go new, Google Slides. And I'll change the dimensions, file, page setup. Instead of widescreen, I'll pick custom. I'll change it to centimeters. And I'll go 21 to 29.7, which is the dimensions of an A4 page. So next, it says change the slide layout to blank. So to change the slide layout to blank, click to select the slide. Go to the layout button and scroll down and you'll see the last one is called blank. So select that. So next, part four, change the background image to the worksheet image that you downloaded. So remember we downloaded the worksheet image at the beginning in point number one. So I'm going to go to the background button, choose image, and because it's saved into downloads on our computer, click Browse, and there it is. Select it and open. And then done. I've just enlarged it a bit, but you can see that the um, worksheet image is in the background, so you cannot move it in any way. It's a background image that is set. So next, I'm going to get the draggable answers. Okay, so in the tab I have up the top, this one here, um, which is a copy of my draggable answers. So I'm just going to go outside of those answers and select them all by clicking and dragging over them with my mouse. And then I'll, once I've selected it, I'll right click, copy, go back to my worksheet and, or my slide and right click and paste. And there they all are. Now you can rearrange these a little bit, so I'm just gonna do that quickly. So I've actually made them all a little bit smaller so that they'll sort of fit into the space, but you can actually, um, you can actually um, ask people to put it next to the sentence if you like, just to demonstrate. There we go. Of course, that's not the right answer. Next, I'm going to show you 